And it's 432. Now to our ongoing coverage of the serial street shooter this morning. We are getting one of the clearest firsthand accounts of the attacks yet. ABC 15's Katie Connor live at 59th Avenue in Encanto. And Katie, uh, someone tried to save one of the victims. That's right. The neighbor ran over and tried to give the victim CPR. Unfortunately, he died right there at the scene. But that neighbor is only speaking to ABC 15, giving us new insight into the serial street shooter. Now, Manuel Garcia was killed back on June 10th. He was sitting in his girlfriend's driveway. He had texted her to go to dinner, and she was actually just turning off all of the lights in the house when all of a sudden she heard the shooting. Calvin Davis was on his patio when he saw the shooter, and a passenger cruised by. In in a black sedan. He says the driver stopped next to Garcia, yelled something in Spanish, and then unloaded six shots. I guess he tried to get away, steps on the gas, and, hit, and hits my car, totals, totals my car out. I felt like it was, a, it was a piece of me or somebody in my family that had, that had been shot. Now, like you heard, Davis said his car was totaled, and when he called the insurance company, Dan, they actually said he has to go after the serial shooter to get back his loss. If you do recognize the man in this sketch, excuse me, make sure to call police. Dan. All right, Katie, the more information, the better. Uh, we're hearing there's going to be a community meeting. Tell us about that. That's right. It'll be tonight at the Mountain View Precinct, and that's off 20th Street in Maryland. And that's because that's where three of the shootings have actually occurred. So, Dan, they're urging everyone within the community to come to this meeting, get more information. All right. Katie Connor reporting for us this morning. Katie, thank you.